Where in Freetown do you live? I live at Abadin. Abadin? Oh, you're not so far away? No. Great. And you're Madingo by tribe? Yes, no. Can you speak Madingo? No. <laughs> I keep asking that Please question. Speak. No one Take can me. ever speak their tribe. <laughs> yeah. So you say you love dancing? Yes, I do. And it's part of you, and you're also a very creative person. Yes, I am. Can you elaborate on that? Yes. Um, technically, I like to do air, which like, and I like to sew. Okay. I just like creating things. Sometimes I just see it and think of what to do, like people may like, yeah. and I go for it. But for now, basically, it's just for my kids and for myself. Yeah. Okay. And you said you are what? Assistant? Assistant? What? Secretary. Ah. No, okay, assistant it's secretary. secretary. Yeah. Where? At um, Ken K. Ken K. K and K. K Investment Limited. Limited. What, what do you guys do there? Uh, they deal in mining and general merchandise. Oh, so do you see diamonds from time to time? <laughs> Actually. Do you touch them? <laughs> no, really. <laughs> So you just I, see them? I just see them. Just and don't you feel like stealing them? No way. It's oh. not mine. <laughs> I would so love to steal a diamond. No, like. don't. <laughs> and you have a diploma. Diploma in what? Aviation and tourism studies. What does that mean? It's so funny that I'm very illiterate and I'm asking oh. questions. I know. Tourism is all about people coming into your country. Yeah. And aviation is about like walking to the airport or some places within traveling. Anything that has to do with traveling. Ah, okay. Yeah. And you like your job? Sure, I do. And people like you at your job, I'm sure. Yeah. You have a very good looks. Thank you, darling. <laughs> yeah. So, um, Mamani. Yes. Mamani, um, how do you think Big Sister will change your life? Um, I think Big Sister will change my life because this was like a dream that will come true yeah. because we don't have this platform that today we have the opportunity for you to bring it up here. It was a dream for me, like yeah. I want to, but I can't, you know, but today if I'm going to be here, I know when I go into Big Sister, I know definitely it's going to make a change in my life. Because I'll show God. myself out there. So what do you think you will show Sierra Leone out there? Ah, Sierra Leonean women, yeah. ladies, yeah. and the kids, my kids. Yeah. You because have children? They, yeah, I do. It's there. Are you serious? Two. Do you see that? Girl, you it's look two. so hot. Oh, yeah, definitely. Ah, show me that booty. Oh, yeah? <laughs> ah, mama. Titi, you get to pick your hot two. so. Girl. I got seven and two. Are you serious? They're there. Damn, how old are you? I'm 30 now. So Girl, I'm number 32. You are so hot. Ah! Yo, 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 yo. Yeah. I really like your looks. Like for two children, you look so hot. Tell Thank me why. Yeah, please. Well, I always go with this thing. Even when I'm pregnant. You know, like, I think you, you were copying me when I was pregnant. How? Because you always look sexy. Oh. Yeah, I don't take it. Anyways, that's the time all of these men will start coming around. Yeah. Because the boots will... Ooh. Sorry. Cut it. <laughs> okay. No, it's so, okay. Some men like married exactly. women. Exactly. Pregnant women. Pregnant women. women. Yeah. So, in that case, I always look good yeah. for myself. And it doesn't matter whether you're pregnant, you have kids. As a woman, you have to keep this up. Yeah, your you body always looks sexy. Your body, yeah. not only for your man, not for only yourself. for your everybody, but for yourself and your kids. Yes, because they will copy from you. It's true, girl. So it's true. that's that's it. So tell us a bit about your baby father or your husband. Okay. Are you married? I was, but we separated because it's wow. everything is there. Yeah, anyway. I was separated yeah. actually, but yeah. I thought you were talking about maybe a boyfriend. No, uh, no, or no, no, no. So why? Why are you guys separated? Well, technically, because it doesn't work. I think so. Because it takes two to tango. Yeah. So if it doesn't work, you don't force it. And you guys have both the children together? No, I have one. One? Yes, two separate dads. Ah, you, you go, girl! Yeah, two separate yes, dads. And I'm proud of girl. them. And I'm proud of myself, too. Because <laughs> if it doesn't work, 
Mm-mm. I go out. You don't take me. No, you shouldn't. You're too hot for that. No, I yeah. don't take. I don't take too. <laughs> I take. Yeah, bye, boy. <laughs> so, exactly. Um, why should we choose you to be in the house, Mamani? Um, I think you should choose me because I will make a difference. Yeah. In that house, I will create something new to others. Yeah. Or teach some people how to live with others. I'm not perfect. Yeah. I'm going to be in the house to learn and to mingle. I know if I'm going to be there, it's going to be an open space. Yeah. Some people are hard to deal with. But trust me, go. I don't take you shouldn't. I am with you. Yeah. So you honey. hit me hard, I hit you hard. We yeah. fight, we play, we argue. Yeah. We go back together, we yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah, no hard feelings. No, 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 no. <laughs> so, Mamani, um, you look like the outspoken type. You look like a free-spirited person. So I'm going to ask you this question. Yes. What do you think of homosexuals? Oh. Like, hmm. what's your take on that? It's just, we just want to know your opinion. Well, my own opinion, it's their lives. Yeah. They all have a life to live. Yeah. It doesn't matter what makes you happy, you go for it. You go for it. So you know the house is going to be filled with women, powerful women yeah. just like you. Sexy women. Very outstanding. Yes, mm. sexy women like you with nice booty uh -huh. and all that stuff. So what if another woman touch your booty? I would definitely walk up to her and say, you know, go. You got to stop what you're doing. <laughs> Don't touch that dial because it's mine. <laughs> Not for you. Yeah, yeah. So you yeah. don't do that stuff. No. Nah. Okay, my money. Thank you so much. I wish you good luck. And Thank let me you. hand you over to the other judges. Thank you, darling. Hello, my money. How yes, are you doing? Yes, right. Oh. I'm good. <laughs> nice to meet you. You're welcome. Okay, so I have just maybe two questions for you okay okay so um first of all what is your worst fear what is what's my, your worst fear my worst fear yeah in the house no oh. your worst fear in, in life, life. Like, what's your worst fear well my worst fear is this is full is what this is full when someone is very this is full okay. to you oh, like to this is okay. full okay. yeah okay Why? that's that's because I like people who are plain, straight. You tell me, you talk to me, mm. I understand you, you understand me, but I hate when someone lies to me. Okay. No. So if somebody lies to you in the house, how are you going to take it? Well... Are you going to vote them out or what? How are you gonna well, take it? I'm going to tell you straight. It's like you, you're going to lie every day. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to believe whatever you're going to say again. Okay. So don't lie to me. Okay. Tell me. So this is me. Mm -mm. Okay, so what does women empowerment mean to you? Women empowerment mean to me a lot. I'm really, really very happy seeing women, especially you, Z. It's been tough yeah. going through all of this. It's tough. It's not easy being out there, talk to people, deal with people like some of us. Mm -hmm. We cry you down. We make you. But you have to be the woman in you. You have to be strong for yourself. Mm -hmm. You're not going to be strong for anybody, but for yourself first. Yeah. Then, you know, when seeing women going up there, I feel good. Yeah. I feel proud. Yeah. And I want to. Yeah. Yeah, so that's, idea. yes, it inspires me so much that I want to be there yeah. for my kids. Yeah. To say, that's my proud mama standing <laughs> right there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so I feel if, good. If get into the house you're one of the chosen ones one of the 10 contestants and you win the 10 million leones and you have this title what are you going to do with that at the end of the day five five million is going to go for charity okay definitely charity? Yeah. because of the kids you know there are a lot of kids including my kids that doesn't have some of those opportunities mm -hmm. coming up for them out there it's tough as for me, maybe I can manage to, but some of them, no. And I want the kids out there to be strong for themselves, yeah. to be the president for tomorrow, first ladies of tomorrow. We have lots of future out there, yeah. but people don't look at them. Exactly. So half of it is going for them, and the half will go for my kids. Lovely. Okay. Well, thank you very much. It was You're a welcome. pleasure meeting you. Thank you. <laughs>
Hmm. Hmm. I sat you. Yes. You are so, so interesting. Thank you. Okay, so what do you think about when you're in your car or when you're in a car? Like, what do you think about? <sighs> when in my, in the car, yes. because I don't have a car. In a car. In a car. Walking down the, driving down the streets in a car, I always think about like making the future bright for kids. I love kids. Okay. I always think about them. If I'm happy to, if I'm happy to be somebody out there, I think my first priorities are kids. I you know, I have a charity home, so that's always on my mind. Okay. Always walking. I always think about it. So when I'm in a car, seeing the kids around the street, I think about having a charity home. Okay, so let's say, what if you don't get this audition, you're not choosing? What is your backup plan? I'm going to continue with whatever I'm doing. Okay. And I'm going to be supportive to the people who are choosing. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You. Thank you very much. It's so nice. You're so beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. How are you, my dear? Fine. You actually does look like a model. So you say you like to sing. Yes. And you use singing most times to express yourself. Yes. So Alima, you're going to tell me a little bit about yourself, but in a singing form. Can you do that? Express yourself with singing. Like, my name is Zaina, but I'm crazy. Yeah, that kind of thing. I need you to tell me a bit about yourself. But in a singing form, can you do that? Are you okay? Yes. You look quiet. What happened? Nothing. Fine. Um, uh, will you be more comfortable if we talk Creole? Because we can do that. Yeah. Okay, so lots of Creole. So now you can do the same, like um, express yourself in a singing form, but back Creole. Can you do that? Yeah. Okay. My own song or any song I choose? Any song. I will tell you that I love you tonight But I know that I've got time on my side Where you going? Why you leaving so soon? Is there somewhere else that's better for you? What is love? If you're not here with me, what is love? You're getting emotional. Um, I am getting emotional too because I really like that song and I really love love. So, but why are you emotional now when you're singing about love? No, it's a song that reminds me of my dad. Oh, I'm sorry. Tell us a bit about your dad. Um, I lost him some few months ago. Oh my God. Okay. Um, I am so sorry you make me emotional because I have my dad. I love him so much, and I can I can't imagine losing him. So, okay. How old was your dad? He was 42 years old. Oh, he was very young. Yeah. Do you look like your dad? <laughs> yes. Ah, I would have totally dated your dad. He would have been cute. <laughs> you see, now you're laughing. I'm sure your dad was hot. <laughs> what about your mom? She's, she's okay. Yeah, so you should be thankful that you still have a mother. Yeah. I don't have a mother. I have a dad. So you see, I am still... Some people don't have moms and dads. Like, that's right? So, um... What do you expect to gain from Big Sister? Um, firstly, I think it's, it's about the experience. I really love to get the experience because I have always been a shy person. Yeah. So, 
going into Big Sister will mean a whole lot to me because I want to feel I want to feel belong and I really want to interact with people so yeah. that I can be able to show my true self because I know I have a lot inside but I feel like I'm a little bit scared or a little bit shy and yeah. I think this is a platform for me to be able to really bring out what's inside of me. Inside of you and I think it will also help you to um, forget a bit about the sad moment you understand the sadness that you're going through now yeah. because you can never forget that you lost your dad but you know it will get better yeah. and i think big sister will help you be if you make it so um what else now you say you're a shy person and big sister is actually for people that are not shy yeah. Because you have to be in a house with 10 girls. Have you tried being in a room with three women? Uh, it's the worst thing. I hate this too. And we've only been here for like two hours. So you can imagine if you have 10 in a house and you don't even know them and you get to meet for the first time. Don't you think it would be overwhelming for you with what you're going through right now? No, I think I need that. Because actually I live with my three sisters and my mom. Um, ever since growing up, I have never lived with a man in the house. Okay. Yeah, it has always been us. So I don't think it would be any problem for me, even though I'm a little bit shy. But come on, whenever I am among people, different people, I do interact. And I am a very, very lovable person, and people like being around me. So. Mm. The shy, yeah, is there actually, yeah. but there's another side of me, yeah, that you will get to see when there are other people around me, yeah. You understand? So, I'm a very quiet person, I know that, but being around people, interacting, that's another part of me, also, yeah. So, um, okay. So you have another side of you that is not shy, that is a bit no, crazy. No, no, no. So somebody just needs to get to know you. <laughs> yes, yes. When okay. you get to know me, you actually really, really like me. So tell me, what, um, what makes you stand out? What will make you stand out amongst this girl? Because I am intelligent, bold, and beautiful. Oh, beautiful you are definitely you are definitely and i'm so sad that your dad is dead because if you look like him no no man no i want to date him i'm so sad that he's dead you know um so now i want to ask you are you the youngest one in your family or the no i'm actually the second the second yeah okay so, so, so i have, you have two younger sisters oh okay so have you ever dated a guy because of money? Like somebody you don't love, but you just date them because they're spending, you know? The money. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever been with that kind of guy? Uh, I think so. Yeah, aren't we all? <laughs> I like that. <laughs> so was he spending enough money? Sorry? Was he giving enough money? Was he giving me enough money? Yeah. You know, someday you go date them for money, but then they left for spend. Some go continue for spend. It's all the investment, you know. It's like <laughs> some investor then money can left in our room. So was just investing proper money into the business. Or not? <laughs> uh, I think so. <laughs> you see, so you have a wild side. Now we know. Thank you very much. Let me hand you over to the other judges. All right. Hi. Right. You can't be shy around me. You're not allowed to be. I don't take I'm nobody. Sugar. Sugar oh. No, no. That was before. Not now. Before? Yeah. Did he buy you a car? No. He's not a sugar daddy then. He's not proper. Oh. He didn't buy you a car. No. <laughs> okay. I want you to describe yourself in just one word. Just one word. I am natural. You're natural? Yeah. Okay, what makes you natural? Everything about me. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So, so what's the funniest, funniest thing that has ever happened to you? 
There must be something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you tripped and you fell in front of like your crush. Oh, like you fell to me before you were <laughs> oh, oh my god. That's not happen. Nothing funny has ever happened to you. Oh, most times. My younger sister. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She has this habit of normally just coming into my room without knocking. Yeah. So there was this time I was actually inside the room with a guy. Oh! oh! Oh yeah. my god! <laughs> and what was happening inside that room? Oh, well, I was not completely naked actually. But, uh, but were you kissing her? Yeah. Oh, so yeah. Yeah. Yes. And, and she, she was just. Alima! <laughs> <laughs> and she just turned. At least it was your sister and not your mom. Mom would have beaten me. Me and she told my mom, my younger sister, she's actually seven years old. Okay. And she told my mom, Mama, I see my not in my room today. Oh God, how does she react? My mom, she just smiles. She smiles? Yeah, she just You're smiles. Lucky. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, she is. Okay, okay. Um, when you don't like someone, how do you react to that? How do you act? Um, I think I keep a distance from them. Keep a distance. Yeah. So if somebody steps on your toes inside the big sister house, if you enter and you guys got into a confrontation, how would you address that situation? If they were getting in your face, since you say you're shy, how would you react to that? No, I think I need to forget about the shy part for now. Mm -hmm. Because, like I said, going into Big Sister is mm -hmm. it's fine, like me transforming myself. You okay. understand? Yes. So, if somebody just step into my, mm -hmm. I'll just look you in the face and tell you, like, I've never done that before and okay. I've always wanted to do it. So, oh, yeah? for me, I think it's a, new, it's a new me to tell someone in the face, hey, can you just shut up? Um, yeah. I've had enough of you and I'm tired. Okay. Well, thank you very much, and I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Alima, Alima, Alima. Okay, so since you're a shy person, so I want you to tell me this. Are you in school? What do you do now? What are you doing? I'm actually supposed to start school September. Yes. Have you sat to your wife's exams? Yes, yes, yes. So you're waiting to go to college? No, no. Okay. I sat to my wife last year. Okay. So I already st supposed to start college September. September, which college? Limcom Queen. Limcom, okay. What do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a fashion designer and a model. Okay. And... I have always wanted to be a lawyer. So, why do you want to be a lawyer and a fashion designer? You know, you know, law is very, very tedious, yeah. I know. Yeah. So, why do you choose law alongside fashion designing and a model? Well, the law has to come not now. Not now. Yeah, maybe in the next four or five years. Yes. Yes. So now you just want to focus on the fashion design. Yes. Okay, so where do you see yourself in the next 10 years? I see myself as one of the greatest fashion designer. Okay. And a very successful, strong, independent mm. woman. Okay. Thank you very much, Alima. Thank you. What's the name of your brand? Gilda Fashion Design. Hilda Fashion. Gilda. Gilda. Yeah. Why Gilda? It's the name of my younger sister, and I love her so much. Ah, oh, okay, that's very nice. Thank you very much. Hi. How are Good you? Hi. So you are the first person to walk in here mm -hmm. with the Elakoblo Gulama <laughs> name. Okay. So you and Elakoblo, you guys are like namesake. You're carrying the same name. Yeah, kind of. So tell us a bit about Elakoblo Gulama. Oh, actually, I've been hearing about her, but I don't know much about her. 
But did you think to research about her since the program you're auditioning is actually inspired by her? No, honestly, I did not. <laughs> well, it's not bad, but you okay. should have. Um, so why should we choose you to be in the Big Sister house? Um, I'm a kind of person who is uh, very natural and I don't fake things. I'm always myself and um, I believe in myself. I have confidence. And I believe with me in the house, people will have fun. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> I like your hair. Nakap you wear. Thank you, no. Um, now fix them, fix them. Yes. Huh? Dude, the hair is nice. Thank you. OK. Um, Ella, you said you can drive, and you also own a driving license. Yeah, sure. So do you own a car? Yeah. So you know the, 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 the grand prize for this is a car? Yeah, I know. But you don't need a car. I need a car. <laughs> to do what? <laughs> I need a car. <laughs> to do what? You have a car already? Well, I, I, have my, um, I have my motive of having a car. I What's want to do something with it. Like, if I have that car now, um, I will turn it into like a, a free bus to be taking people who don't have money to pay for transportation and, ca and taking them to several places. Maybe, if, maybe I can use my own car for that and use that car for my personal self and something like that. So what would you gain from doing that? Well, I'll gain um, blessing because, yeah. yes, I'll gain blessing and people will be happy. You know, see, I is a very tough place now, looking at the transport fare and other things. You know, if I can do such thing, then I think I will help one way or the other. But for me, from where I'm sitting now, it feels like you're saying that to win our hearts over so oh, we no. can get you in that As house. I said before, I'm a very natural person. Yeah. I believe in myself. I don't fake. Um, people who know me know me. I don't need to talk. But you know you have to be buying a lot of fuel for that car and you will just fund the fuel and just take people to places free of charge. Yeah, free of charge. <coughs> Do you work at the moment? I don't work, but I'm a very um, resourceful person. I know how to put two and four together and I can get my own income. Yeah, because I was thinking if you're not working, where are you going to get the money to service well, the car and do what you're doing? Like, um, let me say, in five months' time, I will graduate from Fabi College. Okay, you're in college at yes. the moment. Mm -hmm. So I already have a job waiting for me, and okay. I'll be having money. So what, what, what are you studying in college? History and sociology. History and, socio and sociology. Yeah? So tell me about sociology. Yeah, sociology is meeting people, knowing people, interacting with people, and knowing them deep, and know how to live within your environment and people. Mm -hmm. And um, Ella, you said singing and dancing is your talent. Yeah, sure. So Ella, you, you, you list five of your favorite songs here. Yeah. I am going to call all five of them, and I will need you to sing one of your favorite songs. Okay. So the first one is Call Me Emerson by Emerson. Okay. And you have The Mamina Power by Zainab Sharif. Okay. And you have Wayo by Vida. Mm -hmm. And Ungrateful Lover by M2, mm -hmm. Tutu Party by Emerson. Yeah. Which one of those five would you like to sing for us today? Okay, I'll sing uh, The Mamina Power. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. The way me love you, eh? I love you like how monkey love in banana. The way me love you, I love you like how me body kill it on a Panama. Yeah. Baby, love me, eh? You like you know, day you go give me banana. One grain of ball, you make a seed on a host. And I'll cook for something nice for you. Then I host. And I'm looking very nice for you, ba. Can I host? Look down the bar, we want joke, me man. Nine coco go roast. Yeah. All the way from Kisi. I'm, I'm shutting, shutting down, down the city. city. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, wouldn't they jealous me right now? Oh. I'm killing Look the at them. <laughs> no pity. Do you yeah. have a song of your own? Yes, I do. Ah, <laughs> Thank you very much, Ella. Let me hand you over to the other judges. Good okay. luck. Good Thank luck, you. yeah? Mm -hmm. Hi, Ella. Hi. How's it going? Easy. You seem very stiff. I want you to loosen up. Can you just shake? Just shake it. You <laughs> seem like, even when you were singing, you were like this. Okay, like, okay, shake, okay, I'll shake. shake. Like, shake. Okay, I'll shake. <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally. Okay, I'll shake. Okay, um, I'm going to give you 30 seconds to talk about yourself. Okay. And let us know why you should be the one to enter as one of the 10 contestants inside the house. Okay, I'm Ella Echo Wilson. 
uh, the second daughter of my father, um, of Mr. and Mrs. Wilson Soy. I attended the St. Joseph Convent, and I'm presently in the Fabi College final year. And I think it will be of great importance and use for the Fabi College administration to have somebody representing them in the show, and not only representing them, being the winner. Because I believe in myself, and with me in the house, I think people will have fun, and things will go easy. Because I, I can be myself, and I'm very natural. I don't think. Oh, yeah? Yeah, sure. OK. Mm -hmm. So who's your favorite artist in Sierra Leone, and why? And don't say Zainab. OK, <laughs> Emerson. Emerson. Yeah. They're why? jealous of me. No, <laughs> we don't want to hear you. <laughs> why Emerson? You know, Emerson is a, I see him as an activist, okay. not a singer. Because <coughs> all his words in music are very true, honest, plain, and point blank, mm -hmm. without fearing anybody, and okay. always saying what he feels like saying with proper research, okay. not always singing for singing. So give me so. one of your favorite lines, just one line that's okay. important to you from Emerson. Then can say man no die man no rotten. Me no kill for sin, so, so me no afraid nothing. Okay. I don't come up from a start from nothing. No, me no general with a five star button. Okay, <laughs> you're correct. Yeah, all right, I know. Yeah. Well, good luck. I wish you all the best. Yeah, thank you. Ella. Yeah. Ella, koblo gula drama. Okay, so Ella. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you something interesting. Okay, go ahead. If I ask you now mm -hmm. to describe the color yellow mm -hmm. to a blind man, how would you describe it? Yellow? If you close your eyes and there is yellow in front of you, you will feel some sharpness. Even if your eyes is closed, you will feel some sharpness within the <laughs> front of your eyes. Okay. Yes. So, so mm -hmm. yes, yeah, so it's just like a flash, a bright flash in front of the eye. If, if a blind man can, if you put a yellow before the blind man, it will seem like a flash to him. It won't seem ordinary. Okay, so how old are you? I'm 25. <laughs> You're 25. Mm -hmm. So what do you want to do after college, after you graduate in like five months? Mm, well, I want to um, continue getting law. I want to be a lawyer. Be a lawyer. Mm -hmm. Why? Why a lawyer? Well, you know, since I was coming up, most of my teachers in, in St. Joseph Convent, Zadiev, my primary school, they see me as a lawyer. And I've been thinking since I was young, and now that I'm old, I think I want to become a lawyer because mm -hmm. I have the attributes. Oh, I think so. mm -hmm. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you very much, Ella. You're and welcome. you do look like a lawyer. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, really. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank I you. love your nails. Can you do this? Yeah. Ah, that's so cute. How are you, my dear? I'm doing good, and you? I'm great. I'm okay. great, Sarah. Oh, uh, Sarah Davis. Yeah. We have a lot of Creole on this audition from yesterday to today. Okay. Really? Yeah. So, um, tell us a bit about um the Creole background, like. Okay. Yeah. The career background is, um, like, let me see, the Davis yeah, the came Davis. from the Nigerian, the Nigerians from Nigeria. Yeah. Yeah, the Davis. So your grandparents yeah, are from Nigeria? from Nigeria, yeah. But your father is from here? Yeah, my father is from here. Is your mom Creole too? No, my mom, she is a Madingo. That's why you look Madingo. Yeah. I was thinking why she's so beautiful because I am so beautiful and I am Madingo. So I was like, ah, oh, there's another beautiful girl. She has to be Madingo. Mm. Yeah. So Sarah, you said you're dating. Yeah. Do you want to tell us a bit about your relationship? Yeah, a okay. little bit. Uh, I'm dating with somebody. Um, we are not um, together. And oh, you can talk with speak Creole. Creole. Just say, talk and we explain to you when you need to greet the inside the relationship. Okay, okay, yes. okay, okay. Yeah, sometimes we have ups and downs, but it's not normal sometimes. Yeah, it's a very nice somebody to me. Yeah, they help me a lot about my modeling, 
my okay. yeah, yeah. So you're a model. Yeah, I'm a model. Have you ever model before? Yeah. For who? Sierra Leone top model uh, for Tilia Golson. No. I How do know. you know? I know. I know. Who told you? <laughs> because I I I know the 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 past between you and her. Yeah. Okay. That is yeah, but it's okay. She's actually a good model. We used to model together. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. She's trying. So, but you put here that you're a singer instead of a model. Why? Yeah, because um, I've been trying all my life to be a singer. Just that I didn't have the opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. But I can try in a way. But well, you think you're a very good singer? Yeah. Can you sing some <coughs> for us? Okay. <coughs> like what? You want me to give you a song? Okay, you name here. Everything. No, okay. you have here your five favorite songs. Um, there is Imagine by King Melody. There is Tutu Party by Emerson. Brighter Future by Famous. Love Na Le Chingom by K-Man, the Mami Na Power by Zainab Sharif. Can you sing, can you take from one of this song and sing for us? Okay, the Mami Na Power. Okay. Is that by Zainab Sharif. Okay. The Mami Na Power, mm -hmm. the Mami Na Power, the Mami Na Power, hey! I love you like a monkey love a banana. <coughs> the way you love me, I love you like a body they love a banana. Hey. Baby, love me, yeah. I like you nuggets, you go give me banana. One gay bobo, you make us eat donna oh so and I. <laughs> <laughs> I like the attitude. I like the way when you're singing, you just like, you know, <laughs> I like the attitude. That's very nice. So, um, by the way, your name is Zainab, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're Zainab, Sarah Zainab Davis, and you're Madingo. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> I just, <laughs> yes, sir. So, what makes you special? What makes me special? Yeah. I believe, I believe that I have what it takes. What makes me special? Let me ask you, sorry about this. In which ways? Like generally, like for instance, like what makes you special? Like you yourself, you know yourself, you know what makes you stand out, like compared to other women. Or compared okay. to other women, okay. what makes you special in your own way as a woman? What makes me special? Okay, I'm a good cook. Yeah, you see, there we go. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a model, modeling, modeling. Yeah. Mo uh, sorry, sorry. You're a model. I'm a model. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, I'm a model, and I'm beautiful. No, you are very beautiful. Yeah, yeah. you are. <laughs> so, um, where do you see yourself in the next five years? What did I, where did I see myself in yeah. the next five years? Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to be a world class model. Yeah. Yeah, I'm working on it. You're working on that? Yeah. Okay, what, step, what steps are you taking towards that? By. Um, Pardon? You said you're working on being a world-class model. model. How yeah. are you working on that? By showing out my talents, displaying different occasion, occasion is, uh, sorry, occasion. occasion. Yeah, different occasion and um, by, yeah, I think that's all. Thank you, thank you very much. Let me hand you over to the other judges. Okay. Hello there, Sarah. Hello. Sarah Davis. How are you doing? I'm doing well. You're good? Yeah. Okay. Um, right, so you said you have a man. Yeah. You have a boyfriend. Yeah. You guys are currently like together. Yeah. Right no, now. no, we are not together, but... You're like on and off? Yeah, on and off, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let's say um, you get inside this house, you're one of the chosen ones. 
and one of the ladies you find out that she's been dating this your man okay. how would you react to that well let me see i believe that's what i what i go for is what i'm going for okay. yeah because i i believe in my career excuse me in your hands okay i believe in my career yeah. and i don't want anything to distract my career yeah, yeah. okay so but what if she's getting in your face and saying that's my man that's my man oh doing? well he's always gonna say well <laughs> <laughs> let me see <clears throat> I will report. You report. Report, yeah. To who? To I uh, to. To big sister. To big sister, yeah. Okay. Yeah, before, before ever I take a, a decision or an action. Okay, yeah. no problem. All right, tell us something that you've never told anybody before. Like a secret. Mm -hmm. We want to know something that you've that you've never you've never told anybody before. Okay. Um, I was this virgin at a young age. You were this virgin at a young age? Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. <sighs> okay, it's okay. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Oh, no, she's emotional. Were you raped? Yeah. Oh, my God, I'm so Very sorry. sorry. How old were you? 24. No, 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 no. My age now. Oh, no. How old were you when you were raped? Okay. It's okay. It's I don't like time. to talk about it. Oh, okay. No problem. Yeah. We're sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to hand you over to the next judge. Okay. 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 I'm so sorry, Sarah. So, Sarah, tell me. Let's just get the tears away from your face and tell me what's, what's yeah. It's okay. So now I I want I want to get the fun parts because of all this. What's the funniest thing that has ever happened to you recently? Recently. The funniest thing. The funniest thing. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Recently. Yes, recently. I saw a mad woman. Mm. Yeah. She was she 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 was so angry that oh sorry. You can say it clearly. You can say it clearly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you see this Chris woman, what do you mean? I see this Chris woman. Mm -hmm. So I be to buy something. Yes. So it, it, the baba they come to school, mm -hmm. it only bread. Mm -hmm. Now, eh, 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 and I say, yeah. come on, buy bread at the time. So the Chris woman, instead of one eat, but the baba and mama, who say I be to buy the, the milk, now they sell the. Yes. Yeah. So the Chris woman, go, go jog the, the bread na the bobo in and then he push the bobo in it. So the combra himself rap like a crazy woman. I say, bo, you, how you they come? You crazy? But me a crazy pass you. What you they go knock me picky for? Now the crazy woman, now the woman back buckle the crazy woman. He say, well, I don't be. <laughs> <laughs> so they all, they all just. Yes. Yeah, so so me just be. No, na me first be one. Go knock the crazy woman. Na me first be one go meet the crazy woman. Why forbid the bobo? So the woman just jump and go meet the crazy woman. So I just him up like ah. Oh. This we all crazy, so me crazy, the human crazy. Oh, my God, just crazy. Yeah. What do you do now? Like, what do you do? Do you go to school? Are you in school? Or do you do business? What do you do? Yeah, they do business. Uh, stop school. We are sitting in was. Yeah. Why? Why are you not busy for further? Why I don't feel safe for further? Because of certain reasons. Make I not able for further. Yeah. Yeah, there's a reason, yes. Like you get any particular, any particular reason, reason you want to 
Yeah. Like why you know, for that one particular reason, it stops you know, for continuing your education. Okay, finances. Uh, yeah. Okay, Sarah, thank you very much. Yeah, thank, thank you, you too. Sarah. Oh. Some booty. I'm I can Sarah you. stand on the bank um, space. Yes. Okay. How West are you, West sir? Monday, when I not laugh me, I beg. <laughs> Thank you. Very I was good. like hoping to impress you guys because you guys always look good. So I was like, oh, oh my you, god, I no, need to you meet them. Um, impress me. I like the short hair, the makeup, the high waisted pants, and the Thank booty. That's why I say, man, you turn away the greedy way. I don't get away, so I shame with the way. When I be a me, I beg. How are you doing, Sarah? I'm good. So you are, wait, is it Kamare, Sarah Kamara? Ah, oh, it's Kamare, Sarah Kamara. I'm so confused. You, they should just name you Kamara, Sarah Kamara. <laughs> no, Kamara is actually like something like it means it means hopeful. Um, so it's different from Kamara and it from means the Kamara. Hopeful in Kuranko. Yeah. Can you speak Kuranko? Yeah. Thank you. Guess mm -hmm. what? We've been having auditions since yesterday. Mm -hmm. We had Madingo, so so Fula, mm -hmm. and nobody can actually speak their tribe. Well, I can so, actually say that I can speak like four. Australian languages, but Which I'm ones? not. I'm not really fluent. Madingo, Kurankor, a bit of Fula, and of course Creole. Okay, you know what you're going to do for us? <laughs> what? Forget Creole. You're going to speak Madingo. You're going to speak Kuranko and Fula. Half half. Please. We're here. Okay. <laughs> okay. So which one do I start with? Oh, one Wali yo. Tanama Tele. That's Kuranko. Yeah. In Wali, Madingo. Uh, Dara Matanala Tong. That's Fula. Yeah. And Korea, how do they do? No, that one, no, don't worry. <laughs> so, um, so you said you're dating. Yeah. I really like to ask people about their dating history because I have so many boyfriends. I just want to know if we're right now. So please tell me a bit about your boyfriend. Ma, well, my relationship life and my sex life has been really messed up. So it's something that is like really, ah. Why is but I'm, it messed up? Well, I had like a really bad childhood growing up, basically. I lost my father at an early age. And then my uncle was the one that actually kind of said, oh, I'm going to take care of you, put yeah. you through school and stuff like that. But all that came at a price whenever I went to collect my school fees or anything, he would probably like, well, he was the one that deflowered me anyway. He would rape Are me. Are you serious? No. Oh my god, this is just so sad. So like I don't like so that kind of messed me up and I've never like actually feel beautiful or good enough or anything. So like well, I went into a deep depression and I attempted suicide more than six times. And it was actually during the last time I was lying in the hospital bed and I was like, I'm not going to, like I'm not going to be a victim. I'm going no, to take I'm going to take control of my life and but since then I've not been able to date anybody because whenever a guy comes close or wanna kiss me or touch me, I freak out. Oh my god. No, yeah. no, no, baby, you should live a better life. Let me tell you, it's sad that your uncle was trying to do that. He was or he is a sick man if he's not dead yet. I hope he's dead, but if he's not It's not. He's a sick man. It's not really your fault, it's his fault. Yeah. Because um you were vulnerable and he took advantage of that and yeah. most of us go through that. Yeah. I really, I'm so sorry, but I was raped when I was like 14, but I talk about it like I don't care. Really, I was raped twice. I was raped by, you remember January 6th, the yeah. rebel them? Yeah. yeah, one disvaginates me like, who cares? <laughs> I've moved on, I'm signing up sheriff, I'm doing so well. Okay. I'm sure wherever he is, he's looking at me like, yo. No. He wish he can say, yeah, I did that, girl, but he can't because he raped me. I was 14. Yeah. And there was another guy when I was 16, but I was sad at some point. I felt bad. I was talking, the other guy, I was talking him on Facebook because I know him. Mm -hmm. He had family now and he has children. I was talking him, but it got to a point I realized 
I cannot be the victim. I will not be sad. He victimized me. Mm-hmm. I owe it to myself to release myself and exactly. be a better person and be exactly. strong for other women. Exactly. You look like a strong woman. Mm-hmm. You are very beautiful. Don't ever doubt that. And okay. you look like a strong woman. So don't yeah. you dare be a victim. If you find a guy that loves you, just fall in love, my dear, and enjoy it. Sex is great. I swear. <laughs> you don't understand. You need to try it with somebody that you're in love with. Okay. Why are you mad today? <laughs> telling you try it you'll love it don't let him destroy that for you don't okay. don't give that that's too much power to give to a guy don't I know. do that i'm walking through it though i'm walking through it no i'll, you, I'll get that by the grace of god yeah? yeah by the grace of god you get past it you look yeah. strong and you mentioned that you tried suicide five times six six times how what are the different way and why were you not why why didn't you succeed it's not like i wish what? i succeeded but you tried <laughs> six times well basically i thought maybe god didn't want me to die because you know like i'm a nurse so okay. i knew that i was like sleeping pills were always available yeah. to me so i'll go to the pharmacy and just like be to the, like oh my yeah my mom is sick but she's having trouble sleeping can you give me some medication so they'll prescribe it for me and i'll take like maybe 40 60 and then just pass out, hoping that you will not wake up. I don't wake, wake up. up, but then I wake up and I look around. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm still alive. Life sucks. Yeah, well, you know what? God actually wants you to be a strong woman. God wants you to go past this. That's why God didn't kill you. And God wants me to meet you today. Exactly. Because I am so happy I meet you. Yeah. Thank you so much. And there are other questions. Okay. Um, you are a Muslim. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think you will ever be a Christian for any reason at all? Well, <laughs> I was raised up as a Muslim, but then I always have like my own twisted beliefs because I'm always like having these questions to myself. It's not like I'm like hardcore Muslim. I pray five times a day. I have my beliefs, but then I like have these questions in my head. Like, is God really there? If God is there, that why so many like suffering happening? Is why that is just there? He has like because what I'm told from both the Quran and the Bible is that he has supreme powers and he can just snap his fingers and things will change, but yet still we're here and there's so many suffering and there's so many destruction going on, but he doesn't do anything. But then again, if we ask, it's considered a sin, so. Yeah, you're not supposed to question God. Exactly, we're just supposed to blindly believe and blindly have faith and just hope things work out at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely there, my dear. But have you ever been to church? Yeah. I always go. Yeah. On a visit? Uh, yeah, I have friends who are Christians and they invite me to their Thanksgiving. So I go, yeah. And I went to a Christian school also, so I'm, I was always in church. Okay. Mm-hmm. Thank you very much, Sarah. I really, you. Um, you will get past this, okay? Thank By the you. Grace of God. Let me hand you over to the other judges. Okay. Ah. <laughs> oh, I said, ah. I want to say sorry, first of all, because that's a lot. I don't think I could ever go through something like that. Thank you. So hearing these kind of stories, mm-hmm. it really opens my eyes okay. even more to what the ladies are really going through yeah. in Sierra Leone, because yeah. that is some deep-ish. And yeah. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Good God. If he's watching this, wherever you are, I'm coming for you. No joke. I will come for him if I knew him. I'm yeah, not even joking. I will send people there. Really Honestly. Talking about this. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. This is power. What you just did right now is power. power. Exactly. Yeah. Women empowerment. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Um, are you more of a hunter or a gatherer? Hunter, I would say. Hunter, why? Why? Because I always feel like uh, if I want something, I have to go get it. Okay. I don't have to wait until someone has it and then I go like grabbing it and I know I have to fight for I've been fighting my whole life fighting for what I even when I was lying on that bed I had to fight and be like you know what I have to stop taking these pills I have to get up and make something out of my life my mom is a housewife and she doesn't do anything so if I don't make it and I don't help her who will so I consider myself that because I see my prey I set my, my prey is my gold and I so just go for it yeah, this is my spray right here, and I'm here to get it, to yeah. win that money. So get it, get it, I'm get giving it, it my it. all, so I'm a hunter. <laughs> okay, I love it. Okay, right. Um, how would you convince someone to do something they didn't intend on doing? Oh, well, by 
enlightening them, like giving them all the options that are there because you cannot just tell somebody that, oh, I want you to do this, blah, blah, blah. You have to make sure they're aware that this is what they're going to gain if they do this and this is what they're going to lose. So I'll make sure like I do my findings about the certain things that I may want you to do for me or want you to do in general and put it all together. And I'm, I will also make sure that the good outweighs the bad. So you actually see the need to actually do that. So if it came down, you were one of the contestants inside the house and you had to make somebody, you have to convince everybody else to vote out this one person, how would you do that? Oh, wow. Well, well, if the person is like very a very toxic individual or that person... She's maybe, not toxic. So she's not you toxic. To, that's what Big Sister said. Ah, uh, well, that means... But Big Sister is a reality TV show. And like every other reality TV show, it's about drama. Yes. It's about, you know, making things more interesting. So I'll probably just bring up a, you know, just to make her look bad. bad so she can actually go out. And then when I come out, I can say, oh, sorry, I never meant that, but this is the game. So we have to go through it. You know it. what I mean? Winner. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Kamare. Come up. Yes. No. So tell me, mm. I can see you're a bit interested and yeah. you know what you want yeah. and you know what you want to make in life. So tell me, if you don't make this addition, unfortunately, if you're not choosing, mm. what is your backup plan? Well, I have a lot of things going on. First of all, I'm still, I'm like doing a training for girls. I, as you all, like, I didn't say that about myself, but I'm a photographer. I'm an award-winning photographer working for Envisage Concept. And I if knew. you knew, okay. <laughs> and, I, and I also do trainings for girls and stuff like that. I've been doing that. But I wanted to use this platform to make it bigger so I can actually like provide a bigger platform for more girls to come in and empower themselves through photography. I'm doing that and if I don't get to like go into the big sister house, I'll still continue doing that of course establish my fashion line get okay. into college and empower myself more this is just like more stepping stone for me big sister is like providing me with a higher platform to actually have a greater impact okay so how would you describe your personality and style unpredictable Ooh. yeah very unpredictable because i might i might wake up today and be like I'm a tomboy and tomorrow I'll be like, oh, all girly thing. Yeah, and then the next yeah. moment I'll be like, you know what? I don't, I don't give, a f let me just put on anything and just go. <laughs> so it's practically unpredictable. Okay, thank yeah. you very much. Kam You're welcome. I'd like to pronounce your name. Kamari. 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 <laughs> well, um, just two more questions. What is your clothing line? What's the name of your clothing line? Same. Same. Why Same? Same means summer. It means sunshine. It means happiness. In what tribe? Quranko. Yeah. Okay. And another question, you're not wearing any jewelries at all. Was what? that done on purpose? You're not having a Oh yeah, yeah. I don't I don't some I go through this phase. Like I said, I have a very unpredictable personality. And sometimes I wake up and I feel like if I don't put on earrings, I'm not beautiful. If I have hair on my head, okay, I might be beautiful. And the next moment I might wake up and be like this year, you know, fits me. You know, you know fits me at all. <laughs> oh, this year, you know, go for fit me. How so. old are you again? Come on. Oh, 24 years old. Oh, you're very young. You're very young. Thank mm. you very much. You're, you're so interesting. You're Thank welcome. You. Thank, Thank you. you.